Hi, I'm going to show you how to put a PowerPoint presentation into your Weebly. In this case, we'll be doing it on a Weebly blog page. Um, so those of you that are in PSHE and want to show your PowerPoint presentations in your PSHE blog page, this is what you'll do. Of course, we start with a new post. And it should have a nice capitalized title. My mm, Healthy Habits Presentation. Of course, you should use the, whatever title is appropriate to your presentation. But for now, this will do for me. My Healthy Habits. I'll leave it at that. Okay. And you'll be able to bring in a paragraph object as you have before to type about it, but you also want to put something that can hold your PowerPoint. So a container that will show the PowerPoint. And I believe the best one for this is the embedded document. So I'm going to drag embedded document down. I got that from the multimedia section. When I click here, I have to come up here to actually upload the file. So even though it says click here, then you have to come to the top and upload a new file. Incidentally, this is the same structure you would use for a Word document or a PDF or anything like that. My presentation is actually in my download folder because I brought it in from Google Docs. So I double click that. I'm waiting for the file to upload. I'm crossing my fingers. And you can see right now that the little bike's going. And what it's doing is it's uploading it and putting it in Weebly friendly format. Um, in a few minutes, we'll, we'll see it done. In the meantime, remember that if you need to type about it, because a lot of your teachers want you to reflect on it, you can then go to back to basic and bring a paragraph down below it, and this is where you can put your reflection. But you can see that now that, my, now that it has loaded and it's ready to go, I can see that I have 11 slides here. If I click here, it doesn't show me my next slide. Now, I shouldn't freak out because I need to remember that I'm in editing mode. Sometimes when we're in editing mode, we don't see the full functionality of what this will look like when it's published. So I need to do two things. Um, once I'm done with my reflection and I double check the typing and the grammar and all that, and I know it's really good, you're going to be publishing this. So I'm going to click Publish Live. And it looks like it did that, and I don't even have to click the Publish button here. But if I go ahead and click the Publish button here, too, that's just an extra measure I can take to make sure it's done. And of course, you know that your password is six wolves. So let me see if I can type that in and talk at the same time. No, I got my wrong. Of course I did. So I'll try again. Oh, sugar. Let's see. Seven. Oops. Maybe because I hadn't clicked in. O L B E S. Okay, I must have the wrong grade. Ta da! Okay, so here's my website. I'm going to switch over to PSHE. I'll scroll down a little bit. Once again, it shows that. If I had my paragraph, it would be here. And now you can see when I flip from page, page to page, my presentation is here, and it looks pretty nice. So hopefully that will go well for you. I'll remind you of what I did. It is in the multimedia part, and you're going to use this embedded document object. And then you can also use a... In the basic, you can use a paragraph object, and that will help you type about it. So good luck, and don't forget to watch this video again if you need a little help or if you need to see the process again. That should work just fine. Good luck.